The purpose of this video is to show you how to create your first workflow. So for this first workflow, we will create through the orchestration, a casebook, which is kind of a notepad that you can use to um, share information while you're doing an investigation. Make sure you have access to SecureX. And then when you're in SecureX dashboard, pivot to the orchestration tab. As you can see, there's a bunch of um, workflow that are already populated within that page, but you can also create your own workflow as well by hitting the button new workflow. First thing, we need to set a name to that workflow. My first workflow. And then we need to add activity by dragging some activity that are already created by Cisco on the left side. So let's search for CTR. So we need to start by generating an access token to access the API of CTR. We also need to associate a target to that first activity. Then we need to validate that first portion, make sure we don't have any issue. And then let's try this first and see if we can generate an access token. If everything turns green, it means that everything has been successfully executed. Let's modify the workflow to add the second activity. CTR, and let's drag and drop CTR create casebook activity. Again, there's a bunch of information on the right side that we need to fill here. Casebook title, Tess, this is my first casebook. And then casebook observable. Observable is anything like IP, domain name, URL, hash, and username. So to simplify things here, I have already created a, up, uh, an array of observable by myself and paste the detail over here. Access token. So we need to retrieve the access token that was generated by the first activity. So we need to go to activity, generate, and access token. If you need to add additional notes as well, you can create additional notes by entering the detail over here. And for the last thing here, we also need to specify a target for that activity. Now, we need to validate those two activity, make sure we don't have any issue, and let's run this for the first time. So we can create a case book. Everything turns green, so it means that if we go to SecureX and look at the ribbon, we should have a new casebook that includes our two observable. This casebook can now be used and shared with other analysts, security analysts, while you're doing an investigation. 